The Midnight Gang by David Williams and illustrated by Tony Ross. Chapter 38. Deep, deep trouble. Mutron, said the hospital principal as he sat passing judgment in his office. Yes, Sir Quentin, she replied. Take this awful gang of children back to your ward. Put them in their beds and make sure they stay there. I don't want one of these children to leave your sight. Do you understand me, Matron? Yes, Sir Quentin, sir, said Matron. She smiled at the children, smug that she had won. And there's a picture of Sir Quentin looking tough with a pink nose. The children all shuffled out of the room. Robin couldn't resist a parting shot at Sir Quentin. By the way, I love what you've done with to your office. The decor is a delight. Thank you, said the man, before remembering that the boy had bandages over his eyes and was being sarcastic. Out, ordered the principal, shooing them towards the door. I have to deal with the porter now. As they passed through the doorway, Tom, George and Amber turned back to look at their friend. There was terrible sadness in his eyes. But the porter just managed to smile. Goodbye, young sirs and madam, he muttered. It sounded like a final goodbye. Matron slammed the door behind them. That. Deceitful, endangering life, reckless, sacked, a disgrace. Then the sound of the principal shouting echoed down the corridor. Tom's heart ached for the porter, being bawled at like that. And there's a picture of Sir Quentin Striller's door and all the things that he was shouting at the porter. As what was left of the midnight gang traipsed towards the lift, Matron turned on them with glee. Right, you lying, deceitful little creatures, she began. You are in deep, deep trouble. Bing! Once they were inside the lift, Tom couldn't stop himself from asking, Matron, what's going to happen to him? Don't you worry. None of you will ever see that dreadful man again. And as for your revolting gang, all the children turned to her. That is well and truly over. Bing! The lift doors closed. End of chapter 38.